this is Katie from my Space Studio creative team. Let's create attractive banner for your product that you can use on the website and all this by using Canva. And be sure to watch till then because a little surprise will wait for you. So let's open the Canva and click on create a design button. Let's choose a custom size. And in this time I'm going to create a banner that will have a specific size that also can be used for Amazon for EBC section. That is why I will type next dimensions and click create new design button. When the board is ready, just click on the product photo on your computer and drag it into the Canva. For start, we need to delete original background of the product photo. For this, select the product photo, click edit photo from the top menu bar and choose background remover. Automatic function in Canva will do all work for you, but sometimes you can see that there are some details that stay untouched and we need to erase them by our own. For this, just click on this little icon, choose erase, decrease or increase brush size, all depends from your goals and paint over the object that you wish to erase from the photo. Now, when you have only product on your photo, click this arrow and come back to the menu. You can see that we have the frame of our original product image, so we need to decrease them or make them smaller and make them surround only our product to have a comfortable work with the product in the future. Just click on the border, wait until this little arrow will appear and we click with left mouse button and drag the border right to the product. Now we can increase the product on the image. For this, click on the product image and drag by the borders. If you would like to fix the alignment of the product image, just click on this arrows icon down below and drag it to make the product look more straight on the photo. So my idea is to inspire potential buyers with this banner to click on it and make a purchase. For this, I will create an attractive background for the image and add a few call to actions text. Let's start to work with the background. For this, click on the background to select it. Then click on this colorful square from the top and go down to choose the gradients. Click on the first gradient you see. This will be a default gradient. So to change the color of this gradient, just click on this icon and click on the first color, which will symbolize the first color of gradient. Take the dropper tool and click on the product. Repeat the same action with the second color. Of course, you can adjust here colors to make them more suitable for your eye. Our next step will be adding the text. For this, just click on the text section and add a heading. Here you can type the name of the product or the name of the brand. To increase the text, just click on the plus icon or you can set up right away a big size. Also, you can increase the text by dragging by the borders and let's place it somewhere in the middle of the image. I would like to change the text color. For this, I need to click on the text color icon and choose color that is suitable for me more. Also in this photo, I would like to place text behind the product. For this, I need to select the text, click on the position from the top menu bar and click backward. Let's add a second text that will create a more balanced composition on this photo. For this, I will click on add a subheading, place it down below the main text, increase it a bit and add some inspiring text. To make the font more bolder, just click on the bold and to change the color, just click on the text color. Creating design in Canva may be easy, but sometimes it takes really a lot of time. If you wish to free up your time for business and trust creating catchy banners to professionals, just visit myspacestudio.com. We provide a range of graphic design and product editing services that will level up your product photos and inspire potential buyers to make a purchase. All links will be in the description under this video. Now our next step will be adding a key elements to the photo. It will be ingredients of the products. For this, select element section, type the name of the ingredient, click enter and choose photos. To see ingredients only on transparent background, click on this icon and choose cutouts only. Apply filters. Now just take your time and find ingredients that look the best for you. To choose ingredients that you like, just click on the image it will automatically appear on the Canva. You can drag by the borders to decrease or increase it and place it on the any preferable position. 
Repeat those actions to create a beautiful composing image. And when all ingredients on their places, let's add one last touch, a natural shadow and reflection to the product. For this, just type in the search bar shadow, click enter and open graphics. Don't forget to delete filters that we set up before. Choose shadow that on your opinion will work the best with your product. Just click on it, drag by the borders to make it smaller and place it right under the product. You can zoom in the image, so make it more comfortable for you to work with it. To place shadow behind the product, just select the shadow layer, click on position and backward. To duplicate the shadow, just click on Ctrl C, Ctrl V and it will automatically appear on the image. Let's place it a bit below and decrease its transparency. Our last touch will be adding the reflection. For this, just duplicate the product photo by clicking Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Click on flip button and flip vertical. Place new product under the original product. Choose arrows to rotate it and click on the transparency and decrease transparency of the image. And pretty much that's it. Only in few minutes we created an amazing beautiful banner for your product and all this by using Canva. And as promised, a little surprise for you. You can find the template we just created in this tutorial in the description down below this video. Just download the plate, replace product with your own product and use it for your own goals. Hope you really enjoyed this video and the final results and you know how to make us know about it with your thumb up because it's really a great reward for us. And be sure to follow our channel and stay in touch with the new editing tutorials by using Canva in the future. So see you very soon, bye bye!